Good morning, my dear students. In this video presentation, we will discuss some more problems meant for class 12 of CBSC. <coughs> the first problem goes like this. Evaluate integral 0 to 5 by 4 dx by cos cube x into root 2 sin 2x. You may feel it is very difficult. It is not at all difficult. Just see how we go about it. I take the problem directly. I am not going to write the question and then answer. I am moving on to the answer directly. Now, I will just write this as cos cube x into 2 into 2 tan x by 1 plus tan square x. There are two formulae for sin 2a. One is 2 sin a cos a. The second one is 2 tan a by 1 plus tan square a. I am just using the second formula. I am just using the second formula. 2 into, of course, already one 2 is there within the root. 2 tan x by 1 plus tan square x. Therefore, this root 4 can be brought out. It will be 0 to pi by 4. This is taken to the numerator. Secant cube dx by, this will become root tan x by, this will become anyway secant x. I mean to say 1 plus tan square is secant square is root secant square is secant x. This secant is taken to the numerator. I will write it as secant square x into secant square x dx divided by root tan x. I will be able to write which is half integral 0 to pi by 4 secant square x d of tan x by sorry uh, it's struck it off. I'll write it down again. Secant square x d of tan x by root tan x. This is secant square x d of tan x by root tan x can be written as half integral 0 to 1 1 plus t square dt by root t where my t is tan x. If you want, you can write one more uh, step here. 0 to 5 by 4. 1 plus tan square x. D of tan x. Divided by root tan x. I use substitution tan x equal to t. When t is equal to 0. When t is 0 or x is 0. Sorry. When x is 0, t is equal to tan 0 which is 0. When x is pi by 4, sorry, when x is 0, when x is 0, when x is equal to 0, t is tan 0 which is 0. When x is pi by 4, t is tan pi by 4 which is 1, which is half integral 0 to 1 t power minus of dt plus half integral this will become t power 3 by 2 0 to 1 dt t square by t power half is t power 3 by 2 that's what this will re get reduced to t power half by half 0 to 1 plus half into t power 5 by 2 by 5 by 2 0 to 1 here it is 1 minus 0 plus 1 by 5 minus 0 which is anyway gets reduced to 6 by 5 after taking LCM after taking LCM it will get reduced to 6 by 5 let me just explain the whole lot integral 0 to pi for dx by cos cube by root, root of 2 sin 2x there are two formulae for sin 2a 2 sin a cos a is one formula 2 tan a 1 plus tan square a is another formula let me use the second formula 2 tan x 1 plus tan square x this cos cube is taken to the numerator. This root 4 can be brought out 1 by 2 here. Then here root tan x by 1 plus tan square x is secant square x. Root secant square x is secant x. This is taken to the numerator. Secant power 4. Write as secant square x secant square x dx. 1 secant square can be written 1 plus tan square x. This is d of tan x by root tan x. d of tan x is secant square x dx. Put tan x equal to t. When x is 0, t is tan 0, 0. When x is 5, t is 1. I should get the corresponding t limits. Remember carefully. 
it becomes 1 plus t square dt by root t. Make it as two integrals, half integral, 1 by root t is t power minus of dt. This is uh, half, sorry, t power minus of dt, t power minus of dt, plus half integral t power 3 by 2 dt, 3 by 2 dt, okay, t square by t power half is t power 3 by 2. Let me apply integral x power n dx is x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 formula, t power half by half, 2 gets cancelled, t power 5 by 2 by 5 by 2, 2 gets cancelled, apply upper limit, lower limit, apply upper, upper limit, lower limit. This is simply 1, this becomes 1 by 5, 1 plus 1 by 5 gets reduced to automatically 6 by 5. It looks like a difficult problem, but once you use the suitable substitution, it is easier, it becomes easier. Using a suitable substitution, a suitable trigonometric formula, it becomes easier. Using a suitable substitution, suitable trigonometric formula, everything easier. If you learn such problems, better as it is, you have the facility of going back to the videos again and learning. It's an easier way to play the video once again and learn the particular part where you need more concentration, where you need to understand certain steps again. Go through those steps again and again and then learn. It will be easier for you to do. The next sum goes like this, integral dx by evaluate x power 4 minus 1. What I will do is, I will write it as x square plus 1 into x square minus 1. I am giving, actually this comes under partial fraction, put x square equal to t only for partial fraction. But I am giving an easy method, just see here, I will write the numerator as x square plus 1 minus x square minus 1 by x square plus 1 into x square minus 1. Here, x square x square gets cancelled. 1 minus 1 minus 1 is 2. Therefore, divide by 2 outside. So, this becomes half in x square plus 1 dx by x square plus 1 into x square minus 1. Minus half integral x square minus 1 dx by x square plus 1 into x square minus 1. Here, x square plus 1 gets cancelled. Here, x square minus 1 gets cancelled which is reduced to half integral dx by x square minus 1 minus half integral dx by x square plus 1. Therefore, this will become half into 1 by 2 log mod x minus 1 by x plus 1 minus half into tan inverse x plus c. Therefore, 1 by 4 log mod x minus 1 by x plus 1 minus half tan inverse x plus c is the final answer. That will be the final answer. Let me just repeat the whole process. Integral x by x power 4 minus 1. Denominator I will be applying a plus b to a minus b formula x square plus 1 x square minus 1. Practically speaking, I should put x square equal to t only for partial fraction and then proceed. Instead, I am giving you an easier method. I will write the numerator as x square plus 1 minus x square minus 1, x square x square getting cancelled. 1 minus or minus 1 is 2, there is one extra constant 2 in the numerator, divide by 2 just to compensate. Make it into 2 integrals, half integral x square plus 1 dx by x square plus 1 x square minus 1, minus half integral x square minus 1 dx by x square plus 1 x square minus 1. Here x square plus 1 gets cancelled, here x square minus 1 gets cancelled. Half integral dx by x square minus 1 minus half integral dx by x square plus 1. I am going to apply direct formula here. It gets reduced to 1 by 2 log mod x minus 1 by x plus 1. Here already half is there. This is tan inverse x. 1 by 4 log mod x minus 1 by x plus 1. Minus half tan inverse x plus c will be the final answer. That will be the final answer. Okay. That will be the final answer. I think I will be able to do one more problem. Okay. There is time. I am making the videos for maximum 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, let me just do one more problem. Just okay, let me take a simple example of vectors. Find the projection of a vector is equal to i plus j plus 2k on b vector equal to i minus j plus 4k. Here, projection of 
sorry projection of a vector on b vector the application is a dot b by mod b that's the application now for here 1 into 1 1 into minus 1 2 into 4 divided by root of 1 square plus minus 1 whole square plus 4 square on which vector that modulus has to be divided now for it gets reduced to 8 by root 7 18 8 by root 18 you can further simplify if you want 8 by 3 root 2 if you want 9 2s are 18 8 by 3 root 2 I repeat the whole process find the projection of a vector i plus j plus 2k on b vector i minus j plus 4k that's a question, simple question given to you projection of a vector on b vector a dot b by mod b it's like a formula remember that formula a dot b is just a product of i components plus product of j components plus product of k components 1 into 1 is 1 into minus 1 plus 2 into 4 1 minus 1 gets cancelled 8 by root of 1 square plus minus 1 whole square plus 4 square 16 plus 2 18 can be written as root 9 into 2 root 9 is 3 8 by 3 root 2 that's the final answer the question may be given like this find the projection of a plus b on a minus b it, it, i won't say it is complicated but you need to apply your mind just find a plus b call it as c find a minus b call it as d then projection of c vector on d vector is the required one c dot d by mod d i should apply I think you are able to follow for if you are asked directly a on b or projection of a plus b on a minus b make c vector as a plus b simplify it is 2i plus 6k then c minus d i will get cancelled 2j minus 2k 2j minus 2k yeah that is my d vector then apply your projection formula again projection of c vector on d vector c dot d by mod b mod d mod d vector apply that rule that will give you the answer automatically i don't think it is difficult i'm telling you another possibility of the question i already told you in any problem if i add up some more question which is to be needed you just learn that also that also so that you can apply your mind at the time of writing your board examination okay for uh, it's almost uh, 12 minutes 12 and a half minutes therefore i uh, just check for the calculations if there is any error i'll add up the corrections otherwise i'll upload as it is thank you students for patient watching